Have you ever scrolled through social media and thought to yourself, why can't I take a picture like that? In my sophomore year, I decided I was going to follow the career path of becoming a photographer. And now I continuously add photos to my social media pages on Facebook and Instagram, both named Photography by Lauren Goronsky. And today, I am going to show you five steps to taking a more professional photograph. The first step is getting to know your camera. And, of course, the camera is really the only thing that you need. I use my Nikon. It's a Nikon D3400. And it's the first camera I've actually bought. Um, and I also use my cell phone for a lot of my pictures. You don't really need a high dollar camera to take a good photo. It's all about the parts that make up the photo. Now, once you get to know your camera, you'll be able to do things like take pictures of stuff while they're moving. Here I've got a hawk. You can see his mouth is open and he's flying mid-air. This one, you can see the water droplets. I've got another one. I like this one a lot. The horse jumping. And this one I actually took while I was driving down, well, I wasn't driving down the road. Um, but we were in the car driving down the road and it's a nice clear photo. The next thing you really want to pay attention to is the composition of your photo. And really, that is made up of a lot of things. Um, starting with light and what I did was I took an object and I took many photos of that object. Here I have a good example of the light being behind our object. Now if that's how you want your picture to be then so be it but the light behind the object is going to give you this effect here where we've got really bright right here and then the shadows and you can also get your silhouette effect that way you also you want to try to use your rule of thirds rule of thirds is where if you cut put a grid put a grid here with nine squares on it you want to try to hit one of the points rather than having your object centered. Now in this photo, the light is behind us and I'm under the tree. It makes the color funny. And it these pictures printed out funny um, from CVS, but Still being with the light above us and the trees covering the light, it made it look kind of funny. So you want to pay attention to the color. The next thing you really want to pay attention to is your background. And here in this photo, you can see I've got the house in the background. And it kind of, it just, it makes your photo look cluttered. And you really want to pay attention to what's in the background. I've taken many photos where I have a dog in the background or something. If you're taking a professional photo, if you're taking a picture of a person or something, you don't want a dog in the background. So you'll have to take that photo over and over and over again. And also in this picture, you can see how I have the light bulb centered. And... I'm not saying it can't be a good photo with the light bulb centered, but it's more interesting if you have this photo here and it's you're using the rule of thirds. Okay? And now you want to focus you you want to focus on what you're focused on. Um here you can see I'm not focused on the light bulb. I'm focused on the stuff behind it. I'm focused on the tree. In the house and you can see the shadows and everything so this also constitutes to what's in the background so uh, sometimes your camera just doesn't want to see what you want to see 
so it won't focus on what you want to focus on. If you're using a cell phone, you can just tap the screen and tap what you want it to focus on. So if I wanted to focus on that, then I would just tap the light bulb and it would focus on the light bulb. And you want to make sure, like I did here, I took all these photos. I've got my multiple shots. So if I wanted to choose one of these, then I would choose my picture. And here I've got the picture that I really liked. This is the one that I liked out of all of them. If I hadn't had all of these pictures, then I wouldn't have been able to choose that picture if I hadn't taken it. So when you take a picture, you want to make sure that you take all the shots that you can. Because if you only have three pictures and two of them are blurry, then you still have that one that's not. I went ahead and I took, it still didn't come out great um, when it printed, but this photo here, I used the rule of thirds. I focused on this object here and you can see that this here is the blurrier part you want. I like to focus on stuff closer. That's what you should focus on. And the color, it didn't look like this on the cell phone, but when I went to CVS and printed it, it did come out like this. So, um, the sunlight is coming, it's coming towards us through the trees here. And this here, I believe, is just an overall better picture than this one right here. Or this centered picture right here. Now, to summarize, you want to practice and use your camera as much as you can. The more you get to know your camera, then the more practice and tricks you know when you are taking pictures. You want to pay attention to your composition, everything that makes up the composition, the light, the background, the color. You want to pay attention to what's in the background, pay attention to where you're focused, and take as many pictures as possible.